In this video, we provide the solution to question number four for practice, exam number three for math 1210, in which case we're asked to compute the derivative of y equals sine inverse of the square root of sine. So this function, the first thing I notice is we have some composition of functions here. We have the square root of sine sitting inside of sine inverse right here. And so the chain rule is gonna be the first thing I use to calculate this derivative. I see that y prime is gonna equal we have to remember the derivative of sine inverse. The derivative of sine inverse of u right here is going to look like u prime over the square root of 1 minus u squared, where u in this case is the square root of square root of sine here. So we then we'll get the denominator first. So we'll get 1 minus, we're going to get the square root of sine squared. That'll clearly simplify. But we have to also take the derivative of the square root of sine of x, for which we see there with the square root of sine, we're going to, have to use the chain rule again because we have sine of x sitting inside of the square root function. So it's important to note that for the square root function, if you take the derivative of the square root of u, uh, you're going to end up with u prime over 2 times the square root of u. So we're going to, in this, kind, this case, u is actually going to be sine of x. We can plug that in there. So continuing on with this calculation, we end up with, again, the derivative of the square root of sine we're going to get the one. Well, let me first write the outer derivative that we got from sine inverse. That's going to be 1 over the square root of 1 minus sine of x, okay? Because we squared the square root, so it just becomes a sine. Then we get the inner derivative. So we have to take the derivative of, one, of, of, the, of the square root, which gives us 1 over 2 times the square root of sine of x. Now we have to take the derivative of the inner function, which in this case is sine. But I know how to do that. The derivative of sine is equal to cosine. So it looks like our answer should be cosine over 2 times the square root of sine times the square root of 1 minus sine, which we then see that D would then be the correct answer after we use this double application of the chain rule, plus also we need to know the derivative of sine and sine inverse.